Hey folks, Ron here. Hope everyone's well. Today I'm going to be showing you the apartment building in Santa Monica, which actually overlooks the ocean, and I'll show you that too, where William Holden died in November of 1981. Uh, now I've read that at some point he actually owned the entire building. I, I don't think he did at the time of his death. Uh, and I'm not sure if he was in the penthouse apartment or not, so if there is one. So if somebody knows for sure, and I know my folks out there, my subscribers, you guys know a lot. Um, so if you let me know if uh, I couldn't find any documentation as to whether he lived in, in a penthouse or the penthouse or not. But we know that William Holden, unfortunately, was alone. Either it was the maid's time off or the maid was on vacation, but he was alone and he was not found until unfortunately he had died. Uh, William Holden, uh, one of the great actors of that World War II generation that I keep talking about. My father was that generation, so I sort of have kind of a bias. I kind of grew up with that kind of guy. Um, although, unfortunately, William Holden had some issues with alcohol, which unfortunately, um, caused directly or indirectly his death, which was a damn shame. I believe he was only 63 years old when he died. But we're coming up to the condominium complex, and I'll be showing it to you in a moment, and it's beautiful overlooking the ocean. And unfortunately, there's a fire going on not too far from here. In fact, we just got emergency alerts about evacuations in the Pacific Palisades, which I've done vlogs from. Very, very, very wealthy neighborhood, very nice kind of cliffside neighborhood overlooking the ocean. Um, and I've done several vlogs from there. Anyway, so this it's a little smoky out, it's a little hazy. Uh, pretty sure it was arson and they're pretty sure it was a homeless guy. And that's kind of a sign of the times and that's a damn shame uh, about what's happening in Los Angeles. Anyway, I will be back to you in a moment and we'll show you the building. And uh, I do have the dog with me here, and I'm going to take care of him, and then show you the building. Okay, I always seem to have to take care of the dog in a moment, right where I want to show you what I'm showing you. Anyway, let's show you the building. Here it is. I'm going to show you a couple views, though. I think it was called Shoreham Towers. I don't know what it's called now. I actually did a night vlog of this building, but I am going to get rid of that in favor of this video um, because daytime is just better for a variety of reasons anyway um, so William Holden oh man so many great films Sunset Boulevard and Network in 1976 was probably the first time I would um, taken notice of him because I was a very very young boy then when Network came out and hadn't really heard of him before then and Let's take a look at the building again. Stalag 17 Bridge Over the River Kwai. So many great films. And as a matter of fact, I remember how, I think it was by the late 70s, probably right around the time he was finishing filming Network, he was offered the lead in a film called The Omen. And you know, guy from World War II generation, you know, no-nonsense guy like Bill Holden. What am I going to do a film, a movie about, a stupid movie about a devil kid? Well, little did he know, you know, the film would grow on to be a huge hit, and Gregory Peck took the part instead. So when Omen, Omen 2 came up, Bill Holden took that part, and, you know, I thought he did a damn good job. He was being Bill Holden, and it was a good film, too. If you leave the occult side of it behind and just look at it as a drama... Uh, I think it was a hell of a film. We're going to continue here. And I may have to pause because there's a lot of traffic. We'll go to Palisades Park. That's across the way there. Palisades Park runs for several miles on the clifftop above the ocean. And uh, people who live across from it like people in the tower here where Holden lived, or Mr. Holden lived, uh, they have a great view of the ocean here, day and night. It's nice to come here at night. You folks know I'm a night owl. If you watch my channel, I love to come at night. And there's very few people. Parking's a hell of a lot easier. And 
you can listen to the waves roll in from the cliff top and nobody around. So, uh, you know, William Holden was big. In fact, one of the biggest passions of his life, if not the biggest, became after going on African safaris, he became very involved in conservationism. And then Stephanie Powers, his actress girlfriend, took up that cause. Here's the building. So, William Holden was, as you see, and then if we turn around here slowly, see the view. I'll show you the view of the ocean in a moment. But Stephanie Powers became William Holden's girlfriend after his long-term marriage broke up. He and his wife, his ex-wife, actually were the only people to attend Ronald and Nancy Reagan's wedding. Uh, he was, Holden was best man and she was matron of honor. They were very close with the Reagans. In fact, uh, President Reagan, who was president at the time of William Holden's death, gave a really heartfelt message saying, you know, I've lost a very dear friend and we've been friends all these years. So, um, one actor to another. Let's go over here now. Dog is very, very happy here. But we're not going to spend too much time here because uh, a little too crowded. Oh, all right. Okay, that's not a good one. What I want to show you here is, here's the park. I want to show you the ocean view. The view that <laughs> William Holden would have from his, from his windows facing the ocean. By the way, I have done a vlog from here before, the one about uh, Peter Lawford's house, former Peter Lawford mansion, and before that, the Louis B. Mayer mansion. Much more famous, actually, when Lawford lived there uh, because Jack Kennedy and Marilyn Monroe uh, did the nasty there. Come on, come here. There's the ocean view. So this is the view that they would see out their windows. I know we're kind of looking into the sun, tilted the other way. So there's your view day and night. Kind of like Hawaii or Miami, I guess, but more accessible. So, William Holden's death, as I stated before, he was alone. And apparently he tripped while intoxicated on a rug. They found the rug. He tried to pat... They found towels where he tried to pat down the blood from the pretty large gash on his head. And unfortunately, he either he bled out first and died or he passed out from being intoxicated. But he did die there. He, he literally bled out from a gash on his head. It's really too bad that he didn't uh, call 911. There's the building. I don't think I can get away from that uh, tree, but that's okay. We're still looking at it. Stephanie Powers was on the <clears throat> show Heart to Heart at the time, and her co-star, the lead of the show, Robert Wagner, R.J. Wagner, comforted Stephanie Powers in her mourning of her lover, her longtime boyfriend, William Holden. And <clears throat> just a couple of weeks later, she had to come for him as he lost his wife, Natalie Wood, under very... Uh, uh, under suspicious circumstances. And I have, I think, two blogs on that. I'm very big on the Natalie Wood case. Okay, folks, we'll get, let it go for now. There's the building in the background. My name is Ron. I really appreciate you watching and listening. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And if you do subscribe, please hit the uh, icon, the bell icon next to the subscribe button and you'll get indications as to when I post. I'll have to look at the water again. The sun's coming out today. And please give the channel likes. That I would appreciate, I think, more than anything, because that really um, gives the channel traction, keeps things moving along nicely. Okay, folks, thanks again for watching and listening, and we'll see you at the next location. Thank you. Bye-bye.